friends, it's Christy. How are you doing today? We have a session planned on the reformer. We are going to work our posterior chain, so your whole back chain, which is really helpful for improving our posture and just helping us lift and stand and sit more upright. All right, let's get going. And the only thing I want to tell you is that if you're sensitive um, kneeling and being on your knees for a period of time, you'll want to grab one or two towels that you can fold up a couple times and just put underneath your knees. Some that will help and we'll be on our knees a fair amount for today's session, okay? Go ahead and throw one red and one blue spring on. Come and turn to face your headrest and you're going to bring yourself onto your knees. You're gonna bring your hands to either side of your headrest. And from here, line your knees up underneath your hip bones. Now, before we change anything, what I want you to do is, if I was here and I was relaxed, I might sag into my shoulders. So lift up and away from your shoulders, broaden the collarbones at the same time you broaden your upper back. Good, and then make sure we're not falling into the low back here. So lengthen the tail out behind you, draw the belly button up and in, and then lengthen out through the crown of your head. All right, so we're here, we're good, we're set. Bring your right toes onto the uh, bar behind you. Make sure that foot is in line with your right sit bone. And we're just gonna press out and bend in. Make sure you straighten the leg all the way. So feel like you pull your kneecap up. Also careful in this position, it's a little less stable, right, than if we were doing footwork laying on our back. The challenge, besides the fact that our shoulder girdle has to stay stable, and we're working our shoulders just as much as we're working our waist below, is that you don't want to move forward and back in your upper body. So make sure you're not kind of waving forward or back. And out and in. Make sure you slow and resist the in. So it should take the same time as you're out. One more. Bring it in. Slide that foot slightly out and then externally rotate from your hip. So your knee is just facing the outside of the carriage. It's not too high. From here we go out and in. Good, just eight of these. Remember to really straighten that leg, wrap around the back of that thigh. Three, two, last one. Bring it all the way in and bring that D now, okay. From here, bring your left toes up, make sure they're in line with that sit bone, press it out and in. Another thing to check in with yourself on this position is make sure you haven't listed all of your weight to the right side of your body. So you should be focusing, floating the weight of your body right over your center line, okay? So you might feel a little more pressure coming down through that left shoulder and left arm because of the left leg that's lifted. That's normal. So don't try and compensate for that by listing to the right. Two, one more. I didn't count those, so I hope we were pretty close. <laughs> and then slide that foot out just a bit so you can externally rotate. And out and in. The reason I slide that foot slightly out is so my heel is in line with my left sit bone. Good. Keep remembering to lift out of those shoulders, so don't start to sag if the shoulders are tired. We go for three and two. Last one. Pull it all the way in. Knee comes down. Sit it back already into child's pose. This is to give your shoulders a little break because we're going right back into a similar position. All right, go ahead and lift up from here. Reach behind you and remove one blue spring. 
scoot your knees up against your shoulder rest line your feet up with your knees behind you and then bring your thumbs to the top of your frame just in front of your shoulders lean slightly forward find that neutral position of your spine that you were just in a moment ago from here keep your tail reaching to the wall behind you as you pull your knees underneath your chest bone and close open and close feel like you spread your sit bones to the wall behind you as you pull your knees under draw the belly button to your spine shoulders back to your waistband careful they don't come up to your ears and here again is where you want to make sure you're not pulling with your arms this is happening from the low belly and the hips are flexing good close your carriage take an inhale here with an exhale round your spine mid back up towards the ceiling drop your head look in between your thighs and now think of a puppy pulling its tail underneath underneath its legs right so you want to pull your tail underneath you and reach back so your tail drops and pulls through and as it drops your mid back tries to round and expand up higher towards the ceiling think of the ribs that are in front of you they're disappearing up inside you pressing up towards the ceiling yeah so if someone stuck their forearm underneath you you'd be pulling away up and away from that forearm close your carriage lengthen your spine back out to neutral from here bring your right knee over in front of the left right knee goes against your left shoulder west so, and then slide your feet over to the opposite side square your shoulders to the floor in front of you and pull under and close under and close draw that belly up and in so we get a nice stretch through the left side as we work the right obliques one more time and close go ahead and shimmy around to the other side so that your left knee comes in front of right shoulder block right knee squeezes to left knee square your shoulders and exhale inhale close good no movement forward and back in the upper body last one and close your carriage good go ahead and sit it back in child's pose just stretching your arms forward a bit relax those shoulders and from here you guys throw on your blue spring and take your red spring off okay find the same position with your knees against your shoulder rests hands on either side of the frame you're going to extend your right leg long behind you reach it to the level of your torso think of that long neutral spine reaching forward and back just the left knee pulls under and close under and close same principles apply here don't list to the left stay balanced over your belly button to the carriage and floor below you as you pull under reach the right leg away so don't let it drop as you come under yeah go ahead and close your carriage and reach the left leg long straight and away from you in line with your torso pull under and reach so I just felt my left leg drop a little bit as I pulled the right knee under really bring yourself into your center to feel where you're at and what's happening in space and time go ahead and sit it back for just a moment keep your knees against your shoulder rests from this position walk your hands forward to the pegs all right feet are together knees are against your shoulder blocks reach the spine long and let your head come down in between your biceps from here take an inhale and start to pull the chest up and forward arms stay straight for right now butt goes down and then 
your tail reaches back and up slightly as the chest lowers. So it's a little bit of a teeter-totter. You don't go really far forward in space. You're more moving from down to up and then back down again. Good, reaching and really pulling the shoulders blades back so you can expand that chest and lift up and one more time lift it up 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 hold it here bend your elbows pulling them to your waistband as you pull forward and through reach long keep the lift in the chest through the crown of your head squeeze your glutes underneath you lift your pelvic floor so just because we're in extension don't forget about those things one more time good now bring your hands to the top of the pegs or the i don't know what you call these risers and then bend your elbows wide and reach wide and reach good for four keep the belly pulling in squeeze the glutes three two one more Good job. Lower down, down, down through the torso. Bring your hands back to the frame and walk yourself home and then just round over into your child's pose here. Good job, you guys. Slowly bring yourself back up to seated. You can swing your legs out from underneath you. We're going to put one red spring back on and take your blue spring off. You're gonna hold on to your shoulder rests, stand up onto the floor, step into the center of your carriage and stand it all the way up. From here, pop your headrest to the top position, okay? You're going to step your left foot back onto the bar, start to push your carriage out by coming into a lunge, bring your shoulder rests underneath your chest and lift up into your plank, okay? So squeeze your feet and legs, glutes, everything together. Reach your heart forward. That's it. We're going to send the carriage forward. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the hips where they are in space. Pull the carriage back under your chest. Reach it forward and pull back under. One more time. Forward and pull under. Hold it here. Bend the knees in and reach in and plank in and plank pike it in reach it back out to plank pike ears between your biceps hips up reach out to plank one more time pike reach out to plank bend and plank bend and plank you guys almost have it plank hold your plank bring your right foot forward walk it forward if you need to and get it right in front in the divot between headrest and carriage stay in your lunge here and find your flat back chest expanded good and then send the right leg forward and pull it under send it forward pull it under send it forward keep it straight lift your hips all the way up close your carriage careful here's a little change hop this right foot into the center of your carriage we're going to change the position of your left foot your heel goes onto the bar and the ball of your foot goes onto the sidebar right so it's in like a little angle from here lunge back out first now bring that foot to where the right foot to where it was and we're going to straighten and bend you might be able to get a little more openness here now that we've allowed that left hip to come into that external rotation now from here if you've done this before you're going to lift up hands onto your hips extend and bend 
extend and bend. Pick a spot on the wall that doesn't move. Keep your eyes fixed on it. From here we go hands back down to the shoulder rest. Extend that leg all the way out. Go as far as you can go into that split and rock the hips all the way back up. Step your left foot to the center of the carriage, right foot to the center of the carriage. Good job. Your right foot goes back against the foot bar. You're gonna lunge it all the way out and step that left foot forward. Go ahead, bring yourself into that flat back as you extend the left leg out and bend. Just bringing the heel underneath the knee and no farther back. Keep expanding your chest, reaching through the crown of your head, back through your tail. Squeeze and wrap that back glute of the right leg. Here we go, keep it straight. Rock all the way up and in. Step the left foot to the center. Right foot changes position on the bar into that angle. Lunge it back out and bring the left foot to where it was. In your lunge, stabilize first. Bring the torso upright and extend and bend for three. That was two. One more. Bend it in. Bring your hands back to the tops of the shoulder rests. Extend the front leg forward. Come into your split as far as you can go. Rock all the way back in. Right foot to the center. Left foot to the center. And then go ahead and come right down into seated on your carriage. Good job, you guys. Okay, throw on a blue spring. Take your red spring off. Take your foot bar down. And you're gonna lay it on to your left side. So come all the way onto your left side. Keep that headrest up. Okay, that'll support your head in your sideline position. You're gonna grab the strap that's right in front of you and throw it onto your right foot, right around the arch. Keep your bottom leg bent, foot in line with your spine. This bottom hand, I like to just hang on to my peg. This top hand, I like to put onto the top of my hip to help me remember to reach that leg long and away. I'm gonna swing the leg forward as I send my tail back and swing the leg slightly back, what I can, right? With the cable there. Forward and back. Good, reach it forward and back. Another fun place to put your right hand is slip it underneath your bottom side, yeah? So if you feel pressure on your hand, you don't wanna be pressing your abdominal wall down onto the reformer. You wanna be pulling up and in, away from that reformer, reaching this right hip long and away from you. So elongating this side. And at the same time, elongating the side we're laying on, yeah? All right, so leave the leg forward. From here, we're gonna circle up and back and swing it forward. Circle up and back, swing it forward, up and back, swing it forward and reverse. So swing it back, circle up around and forward, swing it back, keep trying to reach that right hip away from you. Don't let it clunk into your waistband here, which is more challenging when we're circling. And all the way forward, reach your leg in line with you. Reach, 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 squeeze the glute. And then bend the knee in and take your strap off. Or actually, you know what, you guys? Throw your hand into your strap. Extend, <laughs> quick little change. Extend your legs long, squeeze your legs together. Bring your hands down to your hip. Arm is long and arm comes up just over your shoulder. So don't come over your head, just over your shoulder. Palm facing towards your hip. There we go. Let's just do some side arms here. Yeah, we, we got shoulders. We got a little bit of triceps. Let's just work a little more of the arms. 
hold it long to your side, palm turns back behind you, and bring the arm out forward of the shoulder, and back in line with you. Forward, and back in line. Squeeze your adductors together, squeeze the inner thighs together, wrap around the backs of the glutes, so you should be holding your legs up in this position. Yeah, it requires a little bit of work. And let's circle the arm up, down to hip, out forward, up to ceiling, down to hip, forward, ceiling, down to hip, reverse, ceiling, forward, hip, ceiling, forward, hip, one more time, don't let those legs fall, forward, hip, lift the arm all the way up, bring your carriage in, hang that strap up, and then go ahead and roll over to the other side. So lean on your right side, grab the strap, throw your left foot into it, reach it long, find your alignment here, bring your left hand onto your hip, and from here we're gonna swing forward as we send the tailbone back, and swing the leg slightly behind you as you press the pubic bone forward. So focus on keeping that pelvis in a neutral position as the top of your leg swings and glides in the hip socket. You don't want your pelvis to follow the leg. We want to try and lubricate that articulation, that joint, right? Make it nice and healthy. If you're a runner, these are awesome to do. Even walking. Cyclists, these are great. Yeah, because sitting in the saddle, this gets a little more locked up. There's less range. So good for all sorts of things. One more here, you guys. Slide that leg all the way forward from here. Start your circles up, back, and swing through. Up, back, and swing through. One more in this direction. And swing through. We're gonna reverse so we swing back first. Lift up, circle around and forward. Swing back. Lift and circle. One more time. I love these, they're challenging, but they also feel so good to those hips. Bring that leg back in line with you. Bend your knee up and in. Grab a hold of your strap into your left hand. Arm goes straight up towards the ceiling over your shoulder. Squeeze your legs straight and strong together. Bring your hand down to your hip and lift it up just over shoulder, not overhead. That's it. So squeezing those inner thighs together, wrapping the backs of the legs together straight and strong, reaching long through your toes and long in the opposite direction through the crown of your head. Always trying to find a longer spine. Arm down by your side, palm faces back, arm comes forward in front of the shoulder and back in line with your side. Make sure that as you press, you're pressing right underneath, from right underneath your armpit. So the top of your arm, back of your arm, is really what's initiating that press, not the swiping of your hand in space. Arm forward, arm up to ceiling, down to hip. Forward, ceiling, hip. Forward, so we're circling, ceiling, hip. One more in this direction. I'm pausing at the change of, at each change of um, direction. Lift it up, reversing, ceiling, forward, hip, ceiling, forward, hip. So the reason why I'm adding those little pauses right before I change the direction in the circle is just for more precision of the arm bone moving in that shoulder. Again, really helpful to have healthy shoulders. We use them all the time, all day long. Okay, go ahead and close your carriage. Hang your strap up. 
bring yourself up to seated. And that is it, you guys. So that was pretty quick, but a decently complete workout, yeah? We may have not brought much flexion into that, and we didn't really lie down on our back, but we can still work our core 360, doing in all different types of positions. And certainly a lot of balance and stability work in um, holds and planking, okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time for new adventures. Bye, guys. If you guys liked this video and you want to see more, I invite you to come to my website at goneadventuringpilates.com and register for free. The link is in the description of this video. Join me for more adventures, and let's have fun moving together.